Welcome. This is going to be a short introduction on how to use the DTL and its associated libraries. Right now we're looking at the home page of the DTL. In the description below, I will put links to DTL2, Open DTL, Global DTL, and the Seminary Bookshelf. All of these function similarly, but for this use case, I'm just going to use this home page. So you'll notice that just right here, we have an about page, a how to use page, subject guides, databases, support, and then our search bar. So if you ever have any questions that maybe this didn't answer or you forgot, you can always go to this how to use page. And what this has is if you're a member of one of the DTL institutions, you can find your library contact. These are all the libraries for the DTL, but if you're on the DTL2, it will have the institutions for the DTL2 as well. This also gives you a brief overview of searching, finding journals, building bibliographies, etc. And if you go on the left, there's also some video tutorials. You'll find this video as well. But you have the basic search, advanced search, subject guides, databases, things like that, which we will go over shortly in here. So that's the how to use. We also have subject guides. So if you click on that, we have a list of subjects that maybe you might be interested in that'll give you ideas on where to start looking. Obviously, these don't have every book that we have in the DTL, but they will give you a good starting point. For instance, if you're doing something on the Old Testament Hebrew Bible, you click on here, it'll have all of the books and the commentaries associated with them. So if you're doing something on Esther, you'll see all of the different books, commentaries. These are the major commentaries, um, not everything that we have in the DTL. And if you find one that you like, all you have to do is click on it. It'll take you to our proxy page where you put in whatever institution you belong to. Then it'll take you to the book. You can read these books online. If you choose to do that, you will just be reading it in your browser. If you choose to download the book, you will need to create an account, or if you already have one, you can sign in. And then pick whatever platform you're using and it'll download a copy of the book. I will create a different video on that that I'll link below when it's done on how to continue reading it online. My personal suggestion would be to not download the whole book, but instead to download by chapters. So if you're if there's a certain chapter that you're interested in, you just click download PDF and it'll download the whole chapter for you. You just click download and it'll go to where your download, whatever download folder you have as default. So those are the subject guides and a brief overview of reading the book through one of our different uh, online book providers. The databases are a list of all the databases that the DTL has access to. Some of them are paid, some of them are open access. One of the main databases that are commonly used is the JSTOR database, which has hundreds of thousands of articles and books. And when you're here, you just search through that. These articles are also linked in the catalog, but if you would rather search through JSTOR, you can do that as well. So if you're doing something on, let's just do a random search entry that I know will have lots of um, choices. 
So you can see we have artwork, we have journal articles, and on the left, you'll notice you can um, filter by what type of um, scholarly production you're looking for, journals, book chapters, everything like that, books, some audio, it's all there. Other databases we have are the ProQuest database, which has thousands, hundreds, tens and hundreds of thousands of books and articles as well. But the best way is to look through all the databases. They have a detailed description of what they give you. And it's definitely worth going through. We have over 100 linked in our A to Z database. So it's definitely worth your time to go through and kind of peruse through them. We also have our support tab, which links to our FAQ page. So you have some common questions that you might have. You can browse by topic. You can type a question like password, not working. And you can see things like that. Access questions is probably the best most common types of questions. So you can see what we have there and give you an idea of some of the more commonly asked questions. And like I said before, if you need to get in touch with your librarian, you can click this link if you're unsure what their email is and it'll have a list. We also have our DTL chatbot. So if you ever need help, this will answer common questions as well. You'll say, yes, I need help. And some of the more commonly asked questions um, will appear. If you don't see what the question is that you want, you can just click, I have a question for the DTL, submit. It'll say, please submit a ticket. You hit submit a ticket. And then you fill out all of these. And then one of our librarians will get to you as soon as possible. In terms of searching the database, all you have to do is click within the search bar, type in, we'll do the same. You type in kind of a title, keyword, author, last name, whatever you're looking for, you can do it right here. And it'll bring up all the different things that we have in the DTL. If there's a certain type of resource that you're looking for, similar to the JSTOR one that I showed, articles, books, music recordings, videos, anything like that, you can narrow it down. I would also suggest narrowing it down by publication year because we have a lot of old books that maybe not might not um, be up to date. So I normally at least do last 25 years when I'm just browsing. That'll give you the most common things there. You can also do an advanced search. If you click on that, you can do keyword, you can do author, you can do journal, so if there's a more specific resource that you're looking for, the best way to do it would be by author. So if you know the author that you're looking for, here's an example. It'll give me all the works authored by this author or edited. And if they've contributed an essay to a collection of essays. So you'll notice that Stuckenbrook is not the author, but he has an article in this book. And that is the very basic rundown of how to use the DTL.
If you have any questions, I will link the email to our help below in the description. I hope you find what you're looking for in the DTL, and we hope that you enjoy the service. Have a wonderful day.